are you, Paul? I'm doing well. You look kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Is it because I'm in a cold cell with you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was. I wasn't alluding to your, your appearance. I was alluding to your background. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Um, well, uh, with good reason, because your Larry Hall voice, uh, intensely creepy. Good job on that. <laughs> how, <laughs> how did you perfect that? Like, how hard did you have to work on that? Um, <laughs> it's tough. I've done, I've done, I've done like accents and voices for mm -hmm. movies in the past. Like I did one for Black Klansman, Richard Jewell, Cruella. I remember asking Adam Driver once, I was like, when we were in the car shooting a scene for Black Klansman, I said, do you ever feel like you're losing the voice? Do you ever feel like you're like forgetting the choice you made? And he cut me off. He goes, 100%. It happens to me all the time. And w went off on this little mini tirade. And it made me, he's such a good actor. I think he's, he, he, he's one of our best actors uh, mm -hmm. going. And to hear him say that made me feel better. Cause, uh, <laughs> cause there were days where I felt like I was losing it, but you know, it kind of worked in a weird way too, where like Larry is constantly in a, in a game of d dancing with deception. Mm. And so there are moments where he does lose himself and he forgets that he's kind of putting on a facade within the facade. And, uh, and you know, that happens with people who are psychologically damaged. You're, you're, yeah. They're kind of in and out of their own uh, BS, which is, which was very helpful and happenstantial for me with the performance. But yeah, I, I tried to do the real voice. I found 12 seconds of composite audio for, for Larry Hall's real voice. And I just tried to make it sound as close as I could wow. without, it, without it getting cartoonish. Cause right. you don't want it to be, it sound like a Looney Tunes character. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I love that. You turn 12 seconds into like six episodes. So well done. Um, of course, the dynamic between uh, Larry and Jimmy is like at the heart of this story. How did you collaborate with Taryn to really make that pop? Uh, we, we listened to each other and we, we did a little bit of prep and a little bit of rehearsal, but so much of it was us both knowing what the heck we were doing so we could you know show up on the day and do the dance. Mm -hmm. But but he and I together, it was sort of a wonderful, uh, interesting dynamic and machination, a bit of a cosmic gumbo uh, as far as he and I being able to play opposite each other and, and surprise each other, which we did. There were moments where we would catch each other off guard and we'd have to respond in real time. And, mm -hmm. and I, I was really proud of how it turned out. There was a moment at the end where and without giving too much away, there was just a moment where it gets really intense. And on one take, I just started putting my fingers in his mouth <laughs> and kind of going for it. But, um, but he's a great enough actor and a kind enough man to not try to neuter my creativity or improv. He, he really invites, like, let's get the best version. Let's go there together. I love that you build on each other. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much. I really loved the series. I did not realize it was a real story when it started. So by the end of it, me Googling everywhere, I'm going to read this book. Like <laughs> yeah, based on a true story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a tough one. So definitely just be well, ready for the read. Yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, you were fantastic. Have a great day. Oh, thanks.